The Mamluk AI has a special place reserved in hell, and throughout this video, you'll start to see why. I wanted to form Roma's caravan, which the AI apparently took personally. In any case, if you like my EU4 jumper, then be sure to subscribe, and maybe one day you'll be blessed with my fashion sense. We're doing this pretty extreme, so we do not need this castle. Just because I don't like forts. Never have, never will. Alright, to get started, I've decided to, to use this as my... Uh, Load out. I kind of want to call it that, even though it makes it sound like a first-person shooter. Right, I'm waiting on the alliance with the Mamluks before I do anything else. Once they hit 100 relations, they should turn friendly. Theoretically, unless I'm horrifically mistaken, in which case this is going to be a bit of an issue. There we go. Nice. Sorry, it was 102 relations. My bad. Right, I'm just going to hope the Timurids declare war on Jam early, so I'm going to attack Ramazan. It means fighting the Great Horde, but I don't think the Great Horde's going to come down here. Bit of a gamble, but I don't think... It's too much of an issue. Watch me be so wrong here. The best way to check if your enemy has military access towards you is uh, to do this. Hover over and just wait if it turns green. If it turns green, you've got an issue. Oh, the Timurids got their war early. That sucks. That means that uh, they're not going to attack a jam. I'm not going to transfer trade power. No one has ever clicked that button in the history of... Why would you rival me? Well, actually, no, I need you to not exist. So disregard that. It was a very deci good decision on your part. My bad. You know what? If they come, they come. We're going to... We're just going to do it. I'm also going to trigger this early. We just need a Zurum for him, really. The rest of the stuff I can take from the Ottomans in one war. I think. The Ottomans are at war, so Akinulu won't ally them. Which means I'm just fighting Aniza, Biapas, and obviously Akinulu. Jam is focused elsewhere. Did they attack the Timurids? Yeah, they did. They did not care about you, Dolkadir. They did not care. Okay. They're friendly. Uh, I might just peace out early and fight them. I might just have to. Because realistically, I need a Zurum. Literally, we just have enough for these two. I'm taking it. I'm not getting greedy. But the issue is this. If I were to attack now, I'm outnumbered by two to one. If I have a three siege guy, I might be able to take Diabeka before they're able to sort of consolidate their men. I think I'm going to do that, you know. I think I think that's what's best for me. We've got to go now. We've got to go now. The, mom, the Ottomans just peaced out. We've got to go. What are you doing? Why would you attack Venice? In the Mamluken Venetian War? What? For what? For what? Oh, for God's sake. Where are all your troops, Mamluks? I don't understand. You have 30,000 troops. Stop sending them in piecemeal. Why do you keep doing this? He marched all the way around. He marched all the way around to siege down Spilato. Meanwhile, this. It's like they're a unique kind of dumb. You know, it's like advanced stupid. This is not the normal kinds of stupid that we're seeing in this game. I mean, that's one of the provinces we need. The rest are all owned by the Ottomans. Which I'd be fighting if Cairo wasn't under siege by the Venetians. I've never seen the Mamluks declare this war. But I, I can ally the Hungarians. So that's a good thing. If I somehow... I'm not restarting. I'm not restarting. I'm sticking this one out. If I somehow manage to reform Rome, you got to subscribe. Because clearly I'm a wizard. Eddie Duckett's from the Teutons. Cheers, lads. Wait, did you beat... You beat the Poles, and you've taken Rugen. Why does this always happen to me? Why do I always get weird games? Why? Weird games! All the time! I can't ever have a normal game in EU4. It's just weird. It's always weird. Okay, the Ottomans have declared war on Venice. Okay, they are Miltek 5, so we're gonna wait for everyone to get Miltek 5. The Mamluks are already Miltek 5. Fair enough. Sorry, I'm, I'm holding everyone up here. My bad. My bad. You've still got 10,000 men just waiting in Europe. Just bring them home! It might be worth it because with our, like, it looks like... Okay, okay, okay. There's an opportunity here. It looks to me like these straits are blockaded. Meaning that Venice has won the naval war. My thinking then is that I can declare war, take Kokeli with that three seas general, and then blockade the strait. I step away from the computer for about a minute. And then this thing gets involved. It's go time. Oh, Moldavia, it's not the time. It's just not. It's not the time for this. Where, where is it? <laughs> where are those 10,000 troops going? <laughs> I do not see this going well for us, boys. It's the one time I'm hoping for a maneuver general. Two maneuver, that's pretty good. When are you gonna get there? The 2nd of April. He's rolled a zero to our nine. We actually won. I hate the fact that the AI just ignores Fort Zone of Control. It just doesn't exist to it. <laughs> the Baldavians! I'd like you all to bear in mind that this entire time I've been fighting the Ottomans one-on-one. -on -one. The Mamluks have yet to help. 
in any capacity. I can't keep this up forever. I really can't keep this up forever. What are you hoping to get out of this? Hungary, I don't understand. If you just piece them out, they'll, they'll leave. They'll peace out and then you can- Ooh. That does change things. An agenda is about to expire. I, I, I have slightly more pressing concerns than your goddamn agenda. Oh, th what? Th why, why are they up there? I don't know why they're up there, but that's amazing. That's good. Stay up there. Stay up there, Ottomans. I think the straight cross is important. I think the money is important. Don't think that Hungary is going to care too much. But there's a war against the Ottomans won. Okay. Now we just need to make sure they don't exist. The Ottomans are conquering the Byzantines. Well, I did my best for you, Byzantium. You can't have on your own now. I, I, to be fair, you dying, not really that big of a deal to me. What the hell is this? I see the Crimeans. I see the Crimeans. Mamluks, let me into your territory, please. It's a matter of life or death, please. Oh, ducats. Uh, well, no, wait. Military access first, then ducats. Ottomans declared war on Venice. Jesus Christ. Did you take territory from them? I suppose them grating on each other is actually quite a good thing. The Ottomans have 33,000 troops. The Mamluks have more than that. Manpower to go. I mean, this is probably a good thing. I just, I just, I can't, I can't do it. You should know by now. I'm just gonna sit here. I got one. Okay, well, actually, in separatists, you better not siege this province. Great! What a fun twist of fate that is! Get out of here! Why do I have to fight you? Just keep this. Is why I don't ever take allies in EU4, man? They're just not worth it. Oh, for God's sake, just stop calling me into these defensive war- why? I've just taken admin tech 4. We are not a, a, a well-versed people in, in these sorts of things. And my strategy isn't going to work because we do not have naval superiority. I wasn't paying attention I fought that battle. I do not want to be here. Well, I just lost 7,000 men because of a mistake. Why are you killing the Jared rebels? Ah, oh, they've taken my capital. That's going to hurt. That was 7%! We won it on 7%! Right, thank you very much, Ottomans. I'll uh, see you next time. Oh, they won on 7% as well. I can't even be mad. I'll be honest, the Great Horde have been stunningly good. Like, actually, like, shockingly decent. Okay, the Mamluks are coming in. We should win that. They're the Ottomans. Whoa! We just... I mean, I don't know what happened there. We just collapsed. Oh, boys, we're about to get something big here. Watch this. They're gonna, get, they're gonna try and retreat across the strait, right? Because they can, but guess what? They can't actually retreat across the strait. Which means that we get a free battle right here, and I'm gonna try and do it again. They're gonna try it again, but guess what's gonna happen? We do it again, boys! <laughs> this is my favorite tactic in EU4. It's the best thing ever. And there's a stack wipe against the Ottomans. Easy. Now, remember, the main thing is to kill the Ottomans, so I think weakening them via giving away cause is probably better. So I'm going to take the one province I need, and then I'm just going to get them to return cause to a load of different people. Looking around Europe, this is a very strange game. I mean, Savoy has taken over parts of France, and the Teutons are getting big. I don't know why this happens to me. And the Timurids are on the brink of death, and they've returned. I don't... I don't know. Venice, how are you losing? How do you keep on managing to make my life worse? I left them on the brink of death. How did you mess this up? They took a province, didn't they? Three provinces. Great. Oh, I just got those back to you. Oh, never trust the AI, Lathe. Never trust the AI. 2-2-2, two, 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 that's a craven. This game really doesn't want me forming room, does it? Oh my god, stop attacking people. What did I just say? Yeah, there's no way. I'm, there's no way I'm getting involved in that. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, sure. We're Muslim, you can't personally union me, so whatever. Ottomans is considering attacking Hungary. That's actually really good. We're not going to declare war immediately because we're going to wait to see if he declares war on the, Otto on the uh, Hungarians. Because if he does that... Yes! Okay, because the Austrians are obviously going to win their war, which means they're going to be at war with the Austrians. Okay. This is good stuff. I'll give you... Oh, dude, I'll give you all the land you want, man. But you probably only want one province. Yeah, you only want two provinces, which means you'd get upset if I don't care. Let's go. Oh, you are gorgeous, Austria. Look at that. Oh, Venice is getting involved. There we go, finally. Some momentum. J Jagatai. Jagatai, don't do it to me, man. <laughs> Jagatai, don't. Okay. Oh, oh, man, that could have been bad. All right, reduce his trust by 11, but all this good stuff happens. The Teutons are right away. That is this. That is the dis most disgusting Poland I've ever seen. All right, he's got five provinces left. All right, considering he's got five provinces left, lads, uh, 
I think it's time we did something a little bit radical. Literally no one joined a coalition, okay? There go the forts, and therefore, there go the Ottomans. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, we can upgrade our government rank. But most importantly, we can form room. Brilliant. What a disgusting world we live in. Look at this. My god. That is awful. That is, that is terrible. I hate that. But we formed it. We formed it. So I'll thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you don't mind liking and subscribing, that would be brilliant. I hope you like the jumper. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.